So playing through normal for newer players can be a little bit of a struggle, but that's okay. We accept everybody, including new people, into the Diablo 2 Resurrected community. I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere. Now, it can be incredibly difficult to find those uniques and those set items or magic items that can really help your character out. But actually, rune words can be some of the most consistent items to make yourself because you can just run the countess and get the runes and a lot of the bases to make rune words. You can just buy straight from one of the vendors. So here is the top five rune words for playing through normal here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. If you're a new player, make sure you stick around all the way to the end of the video so you get some great ideas of rune words to make to help your characters out. And veteran players, make sure you head down to the comment section and list any of the rune words that you really like to make that I didn't put on this list. Now, let's get after it. Ancient's Pledge, Growl, or Tall. So Ancient's Pledge is an incredibly easy rune word to make. You can make it right at the beginning of normal, and that's because all of these runes are actually a reward for the quest rescue on Mount Area. The rune word requires level 21. You should be right around the end of Act 5 getting that level anyways, because you have to be level 20 in order to do the Ancient's Quest in order to advance on to kill Bale here in Act 5. Even without getting the runes on this particular quest, they're not incredibly uncommon. The Rowl and Tally you can actually just get farming the normal Countess. And the base to make this rune word, the three socketed shield, you can actually buy it from Farah in Act 2, just right here in normal even. The main benefits of this rune word are pretty obvious, and that's the massive amount of resistance you see listed down there at the bottom. So you get 43 to cold res, and you get 48 to the other three, fire, lightning, and poison. Those type of resistances can really help you out when you're taking on the bail waves and then bail himself. And obviously, as you move forward into the game, these resistances will continue to help you out. It does also have 50% enhanced defense, so along with that resistance, this can help out your survivability a ton moving forward in the game. So with how important it is getting your resistances up when you're at the end of normal and moving into Nightmare, with how easy this rune root is to make, considering they just give you all the runes right there in Act 5, but it does get docked a little bit because it takes right at the end of normal in order to make it. That's why I'm sliding this rune word in at number five on the list. Steel, tier L. So steel is one of the cheapest rune words in Diablo 2 resurrected in order to make, just taking a tier rune and an L rune. Now the L rune is the lowest rune that you can actually get, and tier is the third lowest rune. So this rune word can be made in swords, axes, and maces, but I do really want to stress an important to note when it says maces, there's actually subclasses of maces. So like the two-handed maces, such as an ogre mall, it would not work in. But you have to have some sort of the subclasses of either the mace, the morning star, or the flail, or any of the other higher or lower level bases that look identical to those in order to make this rune word in. I know it's kind of confusing, but that's just the way this game was made with the mace class and then with the subclass. So being in these type of maces, this is obviously going to be a rune word that helps out those melee characters. This rune word gives you a 25% increase attack speed, 20% enhanced damage, 3 to both minimum and maximum damage, 50 to attack rating, so more of those hits will actually land, and 50 to open wounds. And of course, that tier rune will also give you 2 to mana after each kill. So if you are a melee character willing to use those swords, axes, and maces, this can be an absolute great option to help you out. And that's why I slid this one in at number 4. Malice, if, L, F. So Malice, once again, being in normal, of course, these runes are incredibly easy to get, and you can farm each and every one of them from normal Countess. Now, Malice can be made in any melee weapon, giving it a ton of variety to help out a ton of different melee builds. My personal preference is to put this in a spear or polearm and slap that on your Act 2 Mercenary. Early on, this is probably going to be the best damage you can get for that Mercenary. Now, this rune will give you 33% enhanced damage, 9 to max damage, minus 25% to monster's defense, 52 to attack rating, both of those last two making you strike the monster even more often. And kind of important to note here at the end, this 100% chance of open wounds. Now that last one I listed there, that 100% chance of open wounds, gives this item actually a late game use as well. If you're doing the uber runs or if you're fighting D-clone, this 100% chance of open wounds will cause the monsters to no longer heal. Sometimes if you're not dealing enough damage, your character is just on the border of being able to kill the clone or not. If they're healing too fast, sometimes that will make it so you cannot even kill the monster. But if the monster doesn't heal, you hit them with the open wounds, then maybe you could run to town, get some potions, come back before their health healed all the way back up. So if you just do a few countess runs early on, 
you're very likely to hopefully get these runes and by the time you're level 15 which is where their level requirement is for this rune word you're probably going to find the three open socketed base that you need in order to make this rune word if not you can always try to shop one from far there in act two so for all these reasons i think this rune word is a great option to slide right in here at number three leaf here bro now leaf isn't quite as universally able to use as some of the other rune words on this list, but it is so incredibly powerful for the builds that do use it. That's why I had to stick this one in here at number two. Now this does come with three to fire skills and you can put it in staffs, which are usually used for sorceresses. So obviously this is gonna be a great option for those fire sorceresses early on, but something that some people tend to overlook and I understand because it just looks like it should be for a sorceress. Those three to fire skills actually work for any character in the game. So any character that has fire skills can benefit from this staff rune word. That includes the fire druid or the fire trap assassin. And early on, those two particular builds are some of the most powerful through normal and even through nightmare. Now on top of those three to fire skills for the sorceress, this even gives you more skills because you get three to inferno, three to fire bolt, and three to warmth. This can get incredibly powerful because you can also get a base that has three different skills on it with three to each one of those. So you could get something like a three to fireball, six to fire bolt, six to warmth leaf staff early on. Now, both of the runes in this rune word, the tier and the ral, can actually be farmed from the normal countess just in act one and the base you can find along the way. But if you want one real quick and you save up a little bit of gold, you can actually walk right over to Akara and actually buy some incredibly amazing two socketed bases in order to make it. Now, just make sure you don't get the blue magic version that has two socket. It does have to be the gray version. Some people can fall victim to that mistake, but you indeed can just buy these bases from Akara right in normal. So the level requirement for this rune word is level 17, which a lot of people will be reaching, maybe if you're leveling a ton right at the end of Act 2, but probably sometime in the end of Act 3. And it is important to note, this can only be made in staffs. It cannot be made in any type of sorcerer's orb. Stealth. Tall Earth. Stealth is an incredibly commonly used rune word and for good reason. The most obvious useful stats come right at the top of this rune word. That's 25% to each of faster cast rate, walk run, and faster hit recovery. It does also have a few other things on it that help out your character a lot, such as that 6 to dexterity, the 32 to poison res, and that 15% to mana regeneration. Now the base for this rune word is incredibly easy to get. You can find two socketed armors all over the place, or if you want to get one super quick without even looking, you can walk over and just buy two socketed armor from Charcy. The runes are also incredibly easy to find, both of them being able to be farmed from the normal Countess. So all these stats are incredibly useful. You won't get any of this stuff from almost any other item and the level requirement to use it is only level 17. This rune word is so good. In fact, quite often this rune word will be used through Nightmare and even through Hell a lot of times because you aren't going to find anything that will help your character out as much as that cast rate, that hit recovery. The only thing you may do because the base is so easy to find and the runes are so easy to get, you might grab yourself a different armor that has way more defense and just remake the same rune word later on. This could be the most universally used rune word in all of Diablo 2. Literally early on, every single character can benefit from throwing this stealth on with that FCR, with that walk run, with that hit recovery. Bar none, essentially every single character will have this stealth on at the beginning of the game. So with all that taken into consideration, I think it is so incredibly easy to put this rune word here at number one on the list for the best rune word. You have to make it at the beginning of normal in Diablo 2 Resurrected. So I hope this list helped you out. Big shout out to the channel members. Thank you for supporting the channel, making it possible for me to keep making these videos and streaming here. Don't forget before you go hit that like button and subscribe up if you're new. Peace out, fellas. And don't forget, keep slaying.